Hi and welcome to my maths class. Today we're doing a revision exercise on all the grade 11 number patterns. Let us look at the following number pattern. We have 1, 7, 19, 37 and 61. Now if you do a first difference from your grade 10 work you should know how to do a first difference. You simply take term 2 minus term 1. If we take term 2 minus term 1 we're going to get 6. 7 minus 1 is 6. Then we're going to say 19 minus 7 gives me 12. 37 minus 19 gives me 18. You can clearly see that there is no first difference. So when you're starting, you're going to see if there's a first difference. If there's no first difference, you then move to a second difference. So now we're going to say, 12 minus 6 gives me 6. 18 minus 12 gives me 6. You can see now that there is a constant second difference. Once you know that you are working with the second difference, you work with a standard formula. You're going to take the second difference is going to equal to 2a. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say 6 is equal to 2a. Now you can solve. So what do we have? We have 2a is equal to 6. To solve for a, I'm going to say a is equal to 3. Once you solved the second difference and you've solved for a, the next step is to go where you calculate the first difference. So at the first difference, we're going to make it equal to 3a plus b. So what we're going to do here is we're going to say 3a plus b is equal to 6. Then you're going to solve for b. Now you already have a. So if I say 3a plus b is equal to 6, remember it's the first difference. I'm taking the first value that we had calculated. Not the second, not the third, the very first one that we had calculated. Now we're going to solve for b. You already have a, so we know that it's 3 into 3 plus b is equal to 6. 3 times 3 is 9, so b is equal to 6 minus 9, giving us that b is equal to minus 3. Now once you have b, we are now going to make the first term equal to a plus b plus c which means I'm now going to take the first term and I'm going to make it equal to a plus b plus c. Now remember you are solving for the unknown so we have that a plus b plus c is equal to 1. You already have a it's 3 you already have b, it's minus 3. So we're simply going to substitute 3 minus 3 plus c is equal to 1. Now we solve for c. So I have that c is equal to 1. So you made the second difference equal to 2a. You made the first difference equal to 3a plus b. And you made the first term equal to a plus b plus c. You simply solve by using your basic substitution. So what does that do? This now gives us the formula for the number pattern we have. What is the formula? The formula is going to be Tn is equal to. We use the standard quadratic equation which is an squared plus bn plus c. Now in quadratic equations you know it as ax squared plus bx plus c. But because it's number patterns, we use n. So what was a? a was 3. So we have 3n squared plus. What was b? b was minus 3n. And then what was c? Plus 1. Now because we have a plus and a minus next to each other, we know that a plus and minus next to each other gives us a minus. So our final equation is 3n squared minus 3n plus 1.
Once we have the equation tn is equal to 3n squared minus 3n plus 1, what other questions can they ask us? If you look at the two questions, you will notice that they are slightly different. When they are asking you what is the value of the tenth term, now you know that the equation is 3n squared minus 3n plus 1. So you have that tn is equal to 3n squared minus 3n plus 1. What are they giving us? Are they giving us tn or are they giving us n? When they are telling you that they are giving you the tenth term, they are giving you the number it is standing in the row. So what they gave you is n. They are telling you that n is equal to 10. So it's the first, second, third, till the 10th term. What they are asking you is how much is the 10th term equal to? So we're going to substitute in n 10. And our final answer is 271. So the value of the 10th term is 271. Now look how they can change the question. Now they're asking you what term has the value of 271. So what are they giving us now? We know that the formula is Tn is equal to 3n squared minus 3n plus 1. Now they are telling us that the total value is equal to 271. So we have 271 is equal to 3n squared minus 3n plus 1. If you look, you will notice that it is to the power of 2, which means we now have a trinomial. So a trinomial says you must get the equation to equal to 0. So we move the 271 over and we now have a trinomial. 0 is equal to 3n squared minus 3n minus 270. Now from this step, you must be familiar with all your previous knowledge on solve for x. If you are not familiar with this, you have to go to your videos and you need to master all your solving for x concepts, including grade 10. So we can take out a common. 3 and we left with n squared minus n minus 90. Now after this you can either use your calculator or you can use the bracket method. It doesn't matter which method you use but you have to factorize. So we have n minus 10 is equal to 0 and we have n plus 9 is equal to 0. So our final answer is n is equal to 10 or n is equal to minus 9. Now n is equal to minus 9. If you're standing in a row and you are counting people, you go 1, 2, 3. They are all natural numbers. You can't have a negative for a term number. Therefore, this answer will not be applicable. So the only answer that is valid is that n is equal to 10. Thank you for watching.